Thank you to the Milwaukee Art Museum for asking me to demonstrate for you today. Hi, I'm Colleen Vollen, and I'm here at Cream City Clay, and I'm going to show you how I throw on the potter's wheel. I'm working on some sculpture that's similar to these vases and pictures, and this is a special form of art called Raku pottery. And later, I will show you how we fire this pottery in our outdoor kiln. All right, let's get started. I've been working with clay for 26 years. While studying at UW-Whitewater, earning my teaching degree, I learned to throw on the potter's wheel. It wasn't very easy at first. In fact, it was pretty hard. I had to practice long hours to get it right. I was determined, and eventually I was hooked. I learned I could build large, heavy sculpture with coils, flat tiles, and delicate teapots. I could make functional tableware. I soon learned that I could use the clay surface like a canvas to paint on, draw images, or abstract design. I played with the bright colors of underglaze and the earth tones from a gas-fired reduction kiln. I began to experiment with mixing my own glazes. UW-Whitewater had the most beautiful glaze lab and the professors encouraged us to use it. Although I could barely pass high school chemistry, the thought of creating a purple was enough of an incentive to learn the parts of a glaze, how it melted, and how the chemicals could interact to achieve a rich and beautiful result. After moving to Milwaukee, I had it in my mind to create a pottery school. Knowing I had more to learn, I continued on to the graduate program at UWM. I became part of a community of artists at the UWM Craft Center, and I found a remarkable community. At that time, I was making large vases and painting figures. I was firing in a wood kiln in UW Waukesha. It was a special highlight. I so enjoyed drawing and carving the clay surface, using natural colors to decorate. All of these experiences had led me to create a space where I could continue to learn, teach, and create in a vibrant community. A space where artists could make beautiful work and share ideas. It's how Cream City Clay became a reality. I'm lucky enough to be here six years now. I get to throw these delicate vases and pitchers, and I'm currently interested in applying a mixture of metallic raku glaze and crackly slip on my pieces that will peel off and reveal a smoky white and black surface underneath. I love the unexpected nature of Raku. The red hot pots come out of the kiln with molten glazes glowing. The pots get placed on the shredded paper, which ignites and uses up the oxygen in the metal can as it's replaced quickly over. It's this play between the oxidation and the lack of oxygen that creates a green copper or a metallic copper penny color. You'll never get the same thing twice. But the best part of Raku is the community, and you'll see that in the pictures that follow this. The people are what makes this place very special. I'm excited to have our next firing this May and a following one this October. Every year, we look forward to it.
Thank you again to the Milwaukee Art Museum for inviting me to share my work with you today.